down, everybody. It's your boy, Nerdy White Guy. And tonight, I'm going to check out some UK shit, right? It's been a couple of days. Uh, America's been coming out with some fire lately. You know, we've been jumping on a lot of the new shit. But now I got time, so I'm going to check out some Akala. I think that's how you say it, right? Akala? Akala? I'm going to go with Akala. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to check out his fire in the booth part one. Now, the reason why I'm checking out this dude is because he has gotten recommended on a lot of my UK videos. So, I was like, fuck it. I ended up posting up, because uh, now we got the community button, y'all, right? So, I ended up posting up, you know, hey guys, what should I react to? Uh, a whole bunch of new names popped up, then Akla popped up again. I was like, that's it. That's it. We're going to check him out. So before we check them out, please smash that subscribe button, smash that like button. I appreciate the love, you guys. Let's get this video popping. I know you're going to dig this. Oh, uh, yeah. Perfect. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, yo. Yo, I like you. You're like a tiger. Yes, I grew up on a doll in a single parent family. Been through a little bit of tragedy. Yes, I was around drugs and violence before the day that I started secondary. That's part of it, not half of it. Get the picture, the rest ain't necessary. Growing up, got a little caught up. That ain't even half of my life. Also, given the knowledge of self, that is all we actually need to survive. If you saw me, age nine, reading Malcolm, just fine. Teachers still treated me stupid. Students that couldn't speak English, they put me in groups with. The irony is, some of the first men to give me schooling, you were called gangsters. How you already explained that we know what the truth is. They used to the irony is the first men that gave me any schooling you would call gangsters you know what I'm saying he's talking about the way he grew up he said that he was drinking and smoking before secondary school now we don't call it that here in America and the only reason why I know about secondary school is because I got a couple of buddies from Europe you know and they you know that's just the way they call I want to say it's middle school right it's like it's our middle school. But he's just telling us. You know what I'm saying? Just because they're gangsters, man. Like, seriously. I, I got raised by, by some of the hood guys around my area, right? Taught me some of the greatest lessons I will ever learn. Let's keep this going. 44 seconds in. To say don't be like me Yeah I got a name and dough on the street Nighttime comes, I can't sleep yeah. It's the part that rappers don't speak We don't hit the road cause we're thugs Don't come out the room, wanna sell drugs If we got the right guidance and love Would we fight people just like us? How could I knock the hustle to get by? How do you think I ate as a child? Judge no one, done many things wrong Just don't boast about it in songs yeah. But listen to my older bars I was just as confused as you probably are But you grow when you learn Travel and cut One too many man, you know, get caught One too many man that could have been doctors End up spending the whole life boxed up You learn if you study So set out just just to make them money, no cover. It's all about getting poor people to fight with one another. So it's not to that us killing our. It's all about getting poor people to fight with one another. Oh. He said we don't come out of the womb wanting to sell drugs, right? But that's actually what fed him when he was growing up. This boy has a great purpose and meaning behind him, guys. I like him a lot. There's something about this boy that I really like. Let's keep it going. Minute 19 in. Brothers, this in our mothers is right in line with the dominant philosophy of our time. But time is a cycle, not a line. Comes back around, you regain your mind. You be ready for the energy I challenge in my rhyme. Remedy the pedigree, the jeopardy your mind. When the world's this, left it is a crime. We can all fight with the brothers over crumbs. Harder to fight the one who makes yeah. guns. We can all talk, sh get two dollars. Harder to be the one who seeks knowledge. If we understood economics with no money's nothing, think nothing of it. Money is a means to get wealth, not the wealth itself. And don't get confused, far from broke. All that you see me do, I own, but I won't hang what I make around my neck. I know from where that the diamonds came. But I do literally own a library that definitely costs more than your chain and businesses. He said, I own a library that costs more than your chain. He's investing on education himself, guys. We can all take notes about that. He's not spending his money on the dumb shit, right? He'd rather spend money on books and educating himself. How to make himself a better person. Dude, I don't know, man. He, he, he's, 
Dude, if he keeps up with this shit on all of his songs, I'm telling you, he's going to be one of my favorite UK artists. Just something about him that I really like. Minute 54, let's keep popping. Property far from starving, I eat quite properly and I don't care Just said it for the kids, you need to know you're not broke to listen Don't know an asset from a liability, they've never been shown nor told the difference So they don't change situation, richest man in Britain is Asian That's significant, not coincidence, Asian people build businesses Not by flossing, going out shopping, giving up the culture for everyone's profit Who runs Bollywood? Indian people, who runs our ish? So we shake our ass and dance, as if racism just upped and vanished But has it? No, it's right on course, you're beating so bad you're trained to ignore Let me not just make sweeping statements, give me a second, I'll explain it for small amounts of drug possession There's more black people in jail in America The net is for rape and armed robbery and murder All put together You can say they're just locking up tugs Imagine they're in prison every middle class kid That had ever held drugs Oh that's right, that'd be your kids yeah. Bigger than that, what is going on with this? Prison in America's private business They get paid 50k per year per inmate by the state Just wait, also legally are allowed to use their prison inmates as slaves Cheap slave labour, big corporations They come out of jail when they can't get it Oh my dude, he is blowing my top back on this shit, right? Dude, he is speaking nothing but facts right now. <sighs> Keep in mind, guys, I don't break down new artists like this. But this shit is too good not to stop it and at least recognize what he's saying. He's talking about our privatized prisons here in America. There are people making billions of fucking dollars off of people getting thrown in jail for like pot and shit. He said there are more African Americans thrown in jail over drugs than, than rape, murder, robbery, all combined. That is facts. Oh. Midnight train coming by, man, and he is speaking nothing but facts. This boy, dude. 248 in. Let's keep it going. Job. So when we celebrate going to jail, we are literally celebrating enslavement. Add to that, that the hood that you live in. Engineered social condition that breeds crime by design. Where do you think you get your... And you could say that they're just black, but I like to deal with facts. In the 1920s, you would have found in America, black towns, prospering centers of economics to education to make you proud. But some people couldn't bear that the former slaves would not just lie down to the KKK and other hate groups. Burn those towns to the ground, killing hundreds if it ain't understood. You think you were always living in the hood, it's only been 60 years since the hung blacks and burn them and that was so cool they were your baskets picnic baskets even gave kids the day off school go see a lynching have a picnic it's fun to watch the little monkeys die and people act a little dysfunctional you want to pretend that you don't know why if your color means you can be killed and you're powerless to get justice about it is it difficult to figure out how you would then end up feeling about it and that ain't excuses just dealing with the roots of abuses that make a reality where a generation of young men speak of ourselves as dirt casually that's america this britain something similar some different in this country the first enslaved with a working class what's changed what's Worst conditions, most tax, look where you're living, yet you go to the pub Friday night, you will fight with a guy, don't know what for, won't fight with a guy Suit and a tight, who send your kids to die in a war They don't send the kids to the rich or the politician, it's your kids, the poor British oh, is... <laughs> You know what, dude, he is educating people right now You know, before I pause it last time, man, he was talking about shit like assets and liabilities We're, we're not teaching people that, right? And now, dude, bro, he is blowing my mind. Like, like the message that he is sending, right? He said, and this is true, guys, there were black towns that were full of very highly educated black people, right? And the KKK and like white supremacy groups and shit like that went and burned them to the ground. All right. They were slaves, and they, they just didn't want to lie down. You know, like, oh, like, that shit is so powerful, what he is saying. He's just telling you guys how it was, how it happened. As a white guy, you know what I'm saying? I have mad respect for that. You got to tell the history of it. And now he's talking about our politicians sucking, 
sending our kids out to war just to, just to die for their agenda. Not even a real agenda. You know, the wars that we make up today, they're not real wars. It's not like we're not out there fighting Hitler anymore. We're not. That's crazy. 401 in. Let's keep popping. Perfect. This ain't to go and die in a foreign land For these wars that you don't yeah. understand Yeah, they say you are British And that lovely patriotism that feeds you But in reality, you have more in common with immigrants Than with your leaders, I know Both sides of my family, black and white Affect your own mentality, reality in this system Poor people are dirt regardless of shade But with that said, let's not pretend that everything is the same When our grandparents came here to Britain If you had a criminal record, you couldn't get in That ain't protecting from all of the stupid, stupid abuses They were living Kicked in the teeth, stabbed in the street Many times firebombed our houses Put feces through our letterbox And of course the cops did so much about it daily up to the 80s people spitting in my pram because i was a goofy baby but of course that's had no effect on why today we are crazy and none of this is for any good reason they were just dark and so are you guys super racist in britain too man be real with me was it what was it said 1980s it's not even that long ago people were spitting in his face and calling him a oh. damn guys Four forty one in. Even to ease the guilt now for all of this treatment, constant stereotypes and needed. So if I celebrate how big the fits that I'm flipping, clips that I'm sticking, chicks that I'm hitting, I'm playing my position. But if I teach a kid to be a mathematician, messing with the schism, how they gonna fill a prison when materialism is no longer yeah. our religion? What do you think we got now in Britain? Just like America, private prison, prison for profit. That mean when your kids go jail, people make money off it. So keep environments that breed crime, build more jails at the same time, market badness to the kids in the rhymes. Long as rich kids ain't dying, it's fine. Get them to the point where some are so lost, they actually believe if they don't celebrate killing themselves off. That it's because their soft was Malcolm soft, was Marley soft Tell me was Marcus Garvey soft, well, was Muhammad Ali soft Nah, nah, I think not, but they want us to think that the role is cool Being unrolled is all we could do We don't control the whole cell production So who benefits from us moving the food Or thinking there's no way out of old life But Malcolm X used to hustle on the roadside And Marcus Garvey organised more than 6 million people With no Facebook or Twitter Why is it something you can't eat? Ish. One of my own homeboys did a 10 straight in the boxing yard Now what's he doing? Passing his doctorate Don't tell me that it's too hard Who trained you to I believe you're inferior, your song won't ever do in that Did he say his buddy was, oh, his buddy was living in a box in the yard? Now he's got his doctorate? Bro, mad respect, my guy. He named out some greats. And he said, don't tell me that it's too hard. It's not too hard to live right. To not be a disgrace to who you are, where you came from. It's not. You just gotta do you, baby. Don't be. Akala, dude. When it comes to the meaning behind the shit, this is one of my favorite fire in the booths that I have reacted to, guys. And I've reacted to some crazy ass fire in the booths. <coughs> now, we're not talking about wordplay here. We're not, man. We're talking about straight meaning behind what he is saying. Bro. Changing shit. Let's keep it going. 543 and let's keep popping. Nigeria are the remains of an ancient moat that 1,000 years ago, 20 meters wide, 70 down, round the remains of an ancient town that's 400 square miles around, 400 square miles around, please, please don't believe me, it was a documentary on BBC, but we ain't studying history, too busy watching yeah. MTV, and MTV said, wear platinum, now everybody yeah. wanna go and wear yeah. platinum, and MTV said, pop magnums, now everybody wanna go and yeah. pop magnum, and MTV said, drink prune juice, you will start hearing that in tune soon, hey, today I wore my car, yeah, is it now more important what I got to say, oh, when I drive a Mercedes, by the way, so everybody listen to what I got to say huh. Does that make you all happy? Ah, oh, but she, if my head's still nappy Think for myself, so some mad at me But on the mic it, not one batters me All of this here's good for the rhyme Put us in the same place at the same time And it's clear to everybody I'm out of my mind Some of these guys are running out of the rhymes Clear to everybody, that has got ears I'm the guy that they just might fear That they wanna get near But they can't have a peer all day I'm hard licky, you just like beer Front on the kid for another five years Come to my shows and some criteria's Mean that much to him, it's a movement I don't speak for myself, but a unit but And kids come to my shows and sometimes they cry tears. He said, I ain't speaking for myself. I'm speaking for the unit. I'm speaking for my fans, my family. For you guys, right? 
Speaking to the black and the white. That's where I paused it. Let's keep it going. White man, woman, anyone who respects truth, we put in. Dudes are like no dinner, we're just pudding. Yeah, you're sweet, but no substance pudding. You can never ever be with a level on. All songs get played out there in Lebanon. We speak for the people properly, not for the old fat guys in offices no. and the girls loving. Ain't fair, you can't even be bothered to comb his hair. Anyway, that's enough kissing my own ass. Back to the more important task yeah. of being so shower. I've got half the hood screaming, knowledge is power. Yeah. And I ain't saying that'll change that, that. But I do know this for a fact. Right now, there's a you on your block with his hands on his hood. Face screwed up. So he don't care, don't give up. That he won't let nobody. Nobody caught his bluff, but the words go in. Open your shack covers once that's happened. There is no going back. Or would you start to see what is really happening? Who the enemy you should be attacking is. So read, read, read. Stuck on the block, read, read. Sitting in the box, read, read. Don't let them say what you can achieve. Cause when people are enslaved, one of the first things they do is stop them reading. Cause it is well understood that intelligent people will take their freedom. Cause when oh, more intelligent people will take their freedom. They lock people up to stop them from reading. He's telling everybody to read. Knowledge is power. Now, I'm 28, man. It took me a while to realize this, right? That investing in yourself, investing in your education, your health, dude, it's super important. And investing in education doesn't mean going to school. You know, you you can find out financial literacy. You, you, dude, there are many people that have gone to prisons, read books every day, right? And came out professionals in what they were reading about just because they spent so much time on it. They may not have the paper, right? But they got the knowledge. They can use the words. They can take that shit with them. You know, that's something that we all need to do, man. Knowledge is power. He's got the whole hood screaming. Knowledge is power. That is so powerful, guys. 7.30 and let's keep going. Knew our power. We would understand we can't be held down if we knew our power. We would not elevate not one of these clowns if we knew our power yeah. We wouldn't get arrogant when we get two pennies if we knew our power yeah. We would see what everybody sees that we're rich already But never mind MCs, go run for your mummy I'm hungry, I run for my tummy That's enough, back to worshipping money I'm off, back to the study Back to your worship Man! Oh! 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 He said, you guys go and rap about your money. I'll be off studying. <sighs> Agula, man. When it, yeah, dude. He's like, he's a little bit like my my NF. You know, when it comes to shit, you know, uh, I like NF. He's, to me, he's not, he doesn't have the best wordplay. He doesn't have the best rhymes. He doesn't, but the meaning behind the shit that he is saying, dude. Elevate some huge for me. <laughs> if you guys like this video, you guys like me, you guys like this channel, <clears throat> please show me some love and smash that subscribe button, smash that like button. I will see you guys a little bit later. And yeah, that's all I got for you. Let's get it.